Greetings. Uh, I'm spectating League game Red uh, versus W33, and they are playing map called Florizon. Um, Red plays left location, W33, right one. That's very interesting start. Looks like he wants to put in here it's something that I didn't see before. Usually players uh, prefer making in here and then starting start making uh, stone masons. Let's see what he can get. It's a slow start map. So they have to make in after school. And that's actually really surprising. I want to know if he will put a uh, stonemason right here. It will actually work and a lot of time. Mm. It might be really cool. That's just crazy good place to make five stone masons here. Need to test it actually how long stone mason here will work. Okay, and he moved it to the left a little bit. Later he will destroy his storehouse and build something here. That's the reason why... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. It's very interesting that Red somehow has less workers than W33. 6-4... Wow. It looks like uh, his school didn't work for some time. It's very weird. And it's not okay at start, because start is very important, especially at slow maps. That's actually a very interesting decision to start making stonemasons here.
And here I see something close to what I'm doing. Maybe he's even using the same strategy. I don't actually see something bad in it. If something works, then why not use it? And I don't actually care. Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's a bit weird, but whatever. Not a big deal. I think just that here it would be a little better. That's unlucky. Finally, he finished it, not as fast as it could be, and uh, I don't understand why he is not uh, making... Ah, wow, okay, now I see it, nice control of workers. And so he's making it a little later, just a little, but it's closer to storehouse, so it doesn't matter. He might build it even faster than W33. Okay, five stonemasons. Here is the same. They will get woodcutters at the same time, probably. But here we have two of them already. And this one will plant something. He's cutting. Yeah, this location is just wonderful. He already has road to gold. And he has enough wood anyway. It'd be nice actually to stop doing this road and finish sawmill. It's very important to make it early. To start processing tree trunks to timber. And to have enough timber with only one sawmill. Sometime. Looks like someone wants to spectate, or maybe Red has some troubles. And we have to wait.
<coughs> so Four woodcutters already. That's important for this location. He's doing one more here. Actually, it would be nice to start making sawmill also. That's the problem, I think he did his sawmill a bit late. <laughs> I think I can say something about it, because as I can see he's using same build order and uh, building everything in the same places as me. and. Uh, his problem right now is that he has not enough timber for everything he needs. That's why it's so important to make sawmill as fast as it's on, as you can. If you have resources here, just stop doing everything and make it. <clears throat> so right now he needs... Okay, he has enough timber to make coal mine, coal mine, but he has not enough to make smelter and sawmill. So, and here farm is already done. But that's because he made uh, less uh, woodcutters. And here you have to make that many of them. Mm, stop it. Let your... Ah, oh, okay. A few workers left here. So I guess it's time to start making roads to bottom and maybe add a few roads here because this traffic can just destroy everything and uh, finally to start making second sawmill because as i can see he has enough timber right now for smelter he really needs it and his workers are just staying and doing nothing long period of time <coughs> almost done almost done so that's interesting he even stored uh, some gold ore it's not a bad idea actually because as you can see this path to gold smelter it's anyway close to storehouse So he didn't lose any time by storing it, only uh, this short distance. Yeah, looks very similar, but slower. I think 
<coughs> he should start making second gold mines and coal mine smelter and so on. Other way he might have a lot of troubles. And W33 will start storing a lot of iron ore soon, I guess. Second farm. By the way, it's very interesting why Red is playing left location here. I mean, actually, W33 sh should uh, choose the uh, map and Red should choose location because he has less elo. And that's a bit weird. Okay, he finished this only now, and he might have some troubles because of that. Two more farms are coming. One more gold smelter. But no iron mines and here as you can see at least roads to everything were made. One, two, three, four. A lot of timber, so for one iron mine for sure. Mm, yeah, and it's coming for all of them. he will make these roads really soon okay and he is cutting everything here interesting Just crazy low amount of serfs and workers for this timing. Just look at this. Here there are almost 40 of them. And the problem is that. Uh, Maybe he will have not enough serves to store or Four already. That's a nice amount. Actually, really cool road here. 
But I don't get where he wants, uh, I guess, here. He will make his butcher. Nice position. And serfs are AFK. So they will store everything for sure. And here, <coughs> surprising, a lot of AFK serfs are as well. But I think it's just because he has not that many workers. And not that many tasks they have. And no wood. <laughs> yeah, in right hands, this location is just far better. Okay, here we made more workers. He's not doing more, more serves, and he has uh, a lot of gold. Oh, okay. A lot of pauses. Okay, finally he finished everything here. This guy will soon go work here. More farms. It would be nice to, if he could make more coal. It's a bit pointless. This is what can actually ruin game for player. Never make it. 
He can remove it with wine. This one. But uh, if he will not do it, uh, it can be a disaster. The thing is that in come uh, in Knights and Merchants, your citizens and soldiers can't walk over objects. Uh, for example, here you can't move uh, diagonal because of tree. And same goes for tree trunks. And it's very scary when there is something like this close to your barracks. Because uh, serfs deliver weapons inside and you want to release your soldiers and uh, usually they go go out uh, using these diagonals and this tree trunk make us a lot of troubles to remove that you can just make a house plan of tower maybe add this tree trunk and it will be removed and then make barracks. House plan. <clears throat> Maybe it wouldn't hurt him so much just because uh, he will release his soldiers to the left side. But anyway, it's a bit weird. Oh, wow, how much coal he is making right now. It would be better to start making it earlier, because right now he has no coal, almost. And then smithies will start working... ...even later. In this situation, maybe I would even think about uh, making one more armor smithy. Because he has incredible amount of ore. And there is one more iron mine here. <clears throat> or maybe two more, actually, I don't even know. Maybe it's possible to place one more here, whatever. So... It would be nice for him. Other way he will just have not enough iron.
And I don't get why he's storing everything here. <clears throat> That's time waste for serfs later on. And he didn't actually make uh, any roads here to barracks. This point will be overloaded right now. With materials, armor, shields. Yeah, just crazy amount of traffic. Maybe in this current situation, uh, it would. <laughs> it was uh, even good that he stored uh, shields and armor, because other way serfs would start out of here, deliver it, and uh, this traffic wouldn't uh, stop that fast. iron ore and actually same amount here and a lot is just lying.
Yeah, he will not process all this iron ore fast enough. I mean, before peacetime, and even five minutes after peacetime. It's interesting to see what he wants to place here. He's trying to solve his traffic problems here. That's good. Funny to see how W33 is just destroying all the wood sources here. By the way, he has not enough coal somehow. Oh, only nine coal mines for all of this. I think it would be even better to make one more right now. That's why he is not able to process all of this. Interesting. Not enough serfs, for sure. 78 is... Not number that he needs. They are not taking out ore. They are not <coughs> filling soul mills. Look, it's not working. There's so many tree trunks here. Okay, he's adding few here. Would be better to add more. <laughs> Very interesting place to make mill. By the way, I didn't see W33 making mill. He is making somewhere here. That's good, other way he will starve soon. Look. These cold troubles... Uh, give Red real chances to be not so overspammed in terms of um, iron. Yeah, and he's adding one more uh, building that uses coal. I think it wouldn't be a mistake right now to make one more coal mine. Not 11, but 12. Uh, some space for second in, I guess, or maybe market. And it's working all this time, this stonemason. Just wonderful. Need actually to think about it. I 
and uh, you know he has a lot of gold I don't think that he will have any troubles here <coughs> and just crazy amount of wood Still 21. And he will never get it out with this amount of serves, I think. Finally, they started taking out something. Something stopped. Oh. <laughs> That's so disgusting every time you see it. And he couldn't do something with it. He couldn't uh, make a house plan here to stop it. So right now he needs to remove these three also. It's so annoying. And there was no point in storing that much if you can't process it. Needs to add more serves. 85 at least, not 80. They have too many tasks. They are not ready for everything. Just look, a lot of coal to deliver. A lot of tree trunks to deliver. And sawmills are empty. A lot of other stuff. And they will never go for this iron ore before all these tasks exist. Finally they started filling uh, everything with... Uh, trees, but... All other buildings. Also, you can actually try to work with your distribution and set coal here, lower, uh, timber lower, and so on. Serves will have less tasks and maybe you will be able to take out ore even with this amount of serves. <coughs> but you must understand that your town will work not that good if you will make it and everything is not working here in full power and here surf started taking out ore but 90, there is 90 of them here, and how many 48? Same trouble as always, recruits, actually if red uh, would manage somehow to get more recruits at this moment, maybe he will do something. Either way, <laughs> he just needs W33 to attack. Very strange. As he usually make. As he usually makes... 10 or... So he will get it out. Market bread. And just crazy amount of iron. But actually, I realized only now that he has not forty. Then. 
27. It's not that much. You'll get more for this minute. So it's 29. 30, 31, 32, 33. About 33 he will have. And when red comes, if he will go, he will actually make few more. A good thing is that he is not taking Iron Mountain here, it's far. But it doesn't change something because <laughs> Red is not taking it as well. And he can't even process all the ore he stored, so... Let's see what they can do. On the battlefield. Actually, these three is a bit tricky. Woodcutters here. Yeah, he can't release everything fast. They just stopped going out. He's doing it very careful because he don't he doesn't want to have uh, a lot of traffic here. But red is very passive at this moment, so It's actually time to make somewhere the second butcher. I'm sure that he wanted to make it here. Destroy storehouse and build it. But he can't. 21 iron ore is just... Something you can... <laughs> delete. Oh wow, look at this. Finally, they started doing something. How many? 85. I mean, he did this 85 anyway. But they would start taking out ore much earlier. Do all the tasks they had. And start taking it out. So... It was just a time waste for him. <clears throat> and now actually W33 almost released everything he had. Let's see. It looks like Red is not going to attack somewhere. He will just try to defend. Yeah, he finally 
is making it here. It looks like he did his uh, bakery um, a bit late. Look how many hungry citizens he has. He should be fine. He has nice uh, food production. Ah, and he is buying... He's trading some weapons for food. That's a good idea. He could actually trade it for sausages, but um, he has his sausages here and serves wouldn't. Uh, take it uh, to in fast that's why he's trading for fish fish is just a little worse sausages restore for 60 percent and fish only for 50 it's not a big deal the good thing here is that he took it to in really fast. <clears throat> Red is outnumbered for sure, I think. W33 has just more pikes and a bit more leather I think maybe not too much but a lot but it's not so easy to attack at this map I think I would try to go to top and to see how uh, my opponent would move. Will move, actually. So they are waiting. He released even his uh, militia. By the way, it's a very good question why he has bows here and not axes. I don't get it. Look at this. He could release right now 20, almost 20 militia. And they are not so useless as you might think. Wow, W33 managed to go in here and uh, Red did something really weird. But there are a lot of forces here, so... <clears throat> he should destroy it really fast. Oh, these horses can change a lot. <laughs> okay, he's 
top is secured, I think, just because all horses here died and uh, even if he will lose here, fight, it will not change everything. Mm, turn them back. And you need to go back. He's losing right now his bows, and that's so painful to watch. Come on, stop, start moving. I mean, everything was really cool for him before he lost so many bows. <clears throat> And now I'm not sure that uh, he traded well. Now the biggest question is about economy. And I don't actually feel that Red's economy is better. He has only 8 farms and 8 woodcutters here. It's just more. And uh, look at this. Now your 33 knows that there is one more iron mine there. And Red can't still uh, take out all his ore. It was fine before he lost that many bows. So right now I'm not sure. Look at this. Just amazing. So it looks like we will have another attack soon. It's not too late to start making some farms right now. Or maybe it is. They will start working only in 11 minutes. But that's... This is good. It's not full, too late for this, for sure. <clears throat> I don't get it. Three... Uh, Sm iron, uh, iron smithies will work good enough for four mines. It's just useless waste, I think. And he's losing his serfs, so... This hunger kills him. And that's because he has not enough farms. Four swine farms, one stable and uh, one mill require nine farms, not eight. And I don't see him... He could actually make a uh, market and start trading stone for uh, corn. Then it would be okay. And this way it's just not enough. Looks like he will be just stomped right now. Look at this. He's spamming more. More and more and more. So red is going back. But... The key here is uh, that W33 can just go top. <clears throat> Actually, he has so many soldiers that he can walk in right here. Just right click and win.
Top is already lost. Just not enough shooters, they are dying. That's GG. No way to defend it. He was just out spammed at this moment. That's sad. I don't even think that it's... There is something... I want to see it replay. Just start of the battle, I think. Mm, I don't get why he didn't make more, one more farm. In this case, I think it would be just uh, even better not to make swine farm. And it's very interesting to see how he let him in so far. It just looked like he can go bottom. And he can go bottom with his uh, sword fighters and bikes and destroy this first. The shooting is so amazing. Just look how the spikes die. Just paper versus bows. Yeah. And here at this moment, they are pretty even. He's shooting, killing everyone here, and just run away. Oh, just look at this, how many bows died here. Yeah, W33 lost something also, but not that many. Crazy. Okay, that's it. Have a good luck.